If you're a UI UX designer, you already know how much time goes into designing, prototyping, and gathering user feedback. But what if I told you there are some amazing tools out there that can help you design effortlessly, saving your time and energy. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which AI tools you should use to boost your workflow and take your designs to the next level. I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. The first category that we're going to look at is smart design tools. Designing a user-friendly interface is the first step for any UI UX designer. To help you with that, there's an AI tool called Google Stitch. Google Stitch is a tool that turns your prompts into a complete app of web design and lets you download the code for it. You can also nipple them into your usual design tools like Figma or Adobe XD. So to do that, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Here, describe the kind of design that you want. I'm going to ask it to create a food ordering app and click generate designs. And you'll see the suggestions for all the key screens your app needs, like the home screen, menu, and the auto summary. Once you review them, click make them all. And it'll create a complete design, including all the screens that are needed for your app. You can also easily make changes to these designs. Just click edit theme. Here you can customize things like colors, shapes, fonts, and even the overall design style to match your brand or personal taste. So I'm going to change the color to red and click apply theme and you can see that the color palette has been changed in our design. You can also easily transfer your designs to Figma to customize them manually. So to export your design to Figma, just click here to copy the design, then go to your Figma account and paste it here like this. Pretty simple, right? So if you want to create engaging UI designs quickly and smoothly, check out Google Stitch. All right, now that we have our design ready, the next step is to see how it actually works as a real app. To do that, We'll need an interactive prototype, something that lets us test how users move through it, click buttons, and navigate screens. So to create an interactive prototype, first let's download these designs. Just select all of them like this, then click here, and click download. And it'll be saved as a zip folder. Next, open a new tab, and search for Google AI Studio. Then click on the first link, now click new app, and this is where we'll upload our designs. To do that, go to your download zip folder, right click on it and select extract all, then click extract again. Once extracted, open the folder and you'll see separate files for each of your designs. Let's open the browse restaurant file and this is the HTML code for a design which we need to upload. So to upload it, just drag and drop the HTML file here and in the same way, we can drag and drop the HTML file of all the designs one by one. Once that is done. Here type a simple prompt like make this app real and click build. And that's it. We've got an interactive demo of our app. Now you can navigate between pages, add products to the cart, view it, check it out and even place an order. All right. Now let's look at one more AI tool that can help you create interactive prototypes effortlessly. With Lovable, you can turn your design into a fully functional demo quickly and easily without any complex tools or coding. Just click the link in the description and it'll take you to Lovable. Click on get started and sign in with your Google account. Next, upload the designs that you want to turn into a demo. Just click here, select your designs and upload them. Then here type a simple prompt to convert your designs into an interactive demo. Click here and within seconds, your design will be transformed into a fully functional app which you can interact with and test. So now I can search for hotels, check out the details and book them just like a real user would do. Alright, so far we've seen two tools, one for designing layouts, another for creating interactive demos to test them. The next tool on the list is user. This tool helps you create both UI designs and its interactive prototype using just a single prompt. This makes the whole process quick and easy. So to do that, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Now click here and sign in with your Google account. Here you'll find plenty of templates to choose from or you can build your own design from scratch. To create a design and build a demo for your app, just click generate it with Auto Designer. Here, describe the kind of app or website you want to design in simple words. 
and click continue. Now describe the style which you want to use for your design. Click generate my project and it will generate a design along with the interactive demo. To preview it, just click here and just like that, we have easily created a design and an interactive demo in no time. Okay, now let's move on to the next category which is UX research tools. Before designing a UI for any app or website, a UI UX designer first does research on things like user behavior, corporate analysis, market trends and business goals. This helps in creating a design that's both effective and user friendly. And with the help of these tools, you can do all that easily while saving a lot of time. The tool that's going to help us with that is Perplexity. It helps you find the latest information quickly and create a report so you can make better design choices like using the right layout, fixing confusing parts of the design and making the design easier and more enjoyable for the users. So to do that, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Here just type in what you want to know, like a question or a design related to the topic that you want to know about, turn on research mode and click here. Now it'll start gathering reliable up-to-date information to help you better understand your users and their needs. Here you can even ask a follow-up question or make other requests based on your specific needs. So let's say you want certain details in bullet points. So just type that, click here and it'll be done instantly. This helps you to turn your research into simple and useful ideas that you can use right away. Alright, now let's move on to the next category which is UX writing. UX writing is basically the practice of writing the text you see inside apps and websites like buttons, error messages and instructions to help users navigate and use the product easily. The main goal is to make the experience clear, friendly and helpful so users always know what to do next. And the tool that's going to help us with that is none other than ChatGPT. ChatGPT will help you write clear, user-friendly messages, button text, error messages and so much more that your product feels easy and natural to use. So let's check it out. Just click the link in the description and it'll take you to ChatGPT. For better results, you can use the same prompt that I am using by clicking the link below this video or simply entering your own prompt based on your needs. I am going to copy this prompt and paste it here. Once you've entered the prompt, just click here. Then ChatGPT will ask you to upload images of your app so it can generate the right text for your designs. So just go to Figma, select all the designs like this and click export. Now go back to ChatGPT, click on the plus icon, click on add photos and files and upload your design like this. Then send it by clicking here and that's it. It has generated all the UX writing elements like button labels, error messages, pop-ups and more in just a few seconds. You can now copy this generated text and add it directly to your UI images or Figma frames. Okay, now that we've got the content for our design ready, it is important to know how well everything works together. Is the design easy to use? And does the content make sense to the user? To make sure we are on the right track, the next step is to get feedback on both the design and the content so we can improve it before moving forward. To do that, we're going to use a simple prompt. And to use the same prompt that I'm going to use, just click the link in the description and copy the complete prompt like this. Now paste the prompt in ChatGPT. Upload the images of your designs and click here. And as you can see, it has given us feedback and suggestions and how we can improve both the design and the content for a smoother and better user experience. Okay, the next category that we are going to look at is image and icon generation. To provide a better user experience, it is not just about the design and the content. The icons and the images you use are just as important as any other element. They should match the overall style and feel of your design so that everything looks consistent and is easy to understand for the user. So to get the icons that match your design perfectly, we are going to use a tool called Gravity Right. Gravity Ride is a tool which can quickly generate high quality icons and images that perfectly match your design style by understanding your design needs. It gives you custom visuals that fit your layout, color palette and overall theme, making your UI look consistent and professional. So to generate the icons and images, just click the link below this video and you'll be taken to Gravity Ride's image generator. If you scroll down, you'll see different categories like graphic designs and product designs 
which are perfect for creating clean and professional looking visuals. To create the images from scratch, just describe the type of icons or images you want. I am going to enter create a flat vector clock icon. You can also choose from different templates available here. Then select the aspect ratio. I am going to select square and click generate image. Within seconds, your custom icon or image will be ready. You can also easily remove the background from the icon with just a single click and download it by clicking here. Gradrate also offers a wide range of pre-built templates that make it even easier to generate images and icons to specifically match your design. Alright, next let me show you another tool that will help you generate images and icons in minutes. Making it simple to add the right visuals to your UI design. To use the tool, just click the link below this video and it will take you to Leonardo. Click get started and sign in with your Google account. Here go to the images section, enter your prompt. For example, I am going to enter create a shipping cart icon. Click generate and your image will be ready. You can select the one you like and simply download it by clicking here. Okay, the next category that we are going to look at is color palette pickers and generators. This one's not an AI tool, but it helps you choose the right color palettes for your UI designs. So to get started, just click the link in the description. Click start the generator and you will be able to see different color combinations. To explore more, just press the space bar and it will instantly generate a set of new color palettes. If you want to see even more options, just click here and click explore trending palettes. Here you will find a wide range of color palettes to choose from and to open the palette, just click here and click open palette. And here you can also pick a specific shade for each color, just click on it and it will be copied. To copy it in a different format, click here to select the format. You can also easily edit any color by clicking here and adjust it according to your need. You can also upload an image to extract a palette that matches your desired look or theme. And just like that, using this tool, we can easily find the right color palette and the overall look that fits your design perfectly. And that's it guys, these were some of the best AI tools for UI UX designing from generating layouts and prototypes to writing content, gathering feedback, creating icons and picking the perfect color palette for your design. So try them out today and see how much easier your design process becomes. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Website Learners for more such videos. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.